Hi guys, hope you are doing well. In the last video of this tutorial, we learned about Docker image. We understood what is a Docker image, how we can create an image and how we can create a custom image and uh, how we can uh, do um, this with the help of a Docker file. We didn't discuss that in much detail because I have promised we will discuss this in, in upcoming sessions but uh, you must have a basic idea about the image how it works and where we use that okay and how it uh, helps us to run a container so now let's start and moving ahead with a new topic which is docker registry so let me open this slide that we are following so far so far we have discussed about docker container docker image and today we are going to discuss about docker registry so let's see that what it is and how we are going to use it in the docker so to discuss this i'm going to take help of this annotation and now we will take a help of whiteboard so you definitely have heard about github right so whenever we work with the git so we have something a repository so let let me start it from the beginning so let's suppose we have a developer and developer has written a code and that code developer has written a code and that code will be committed right then code will be committed in local environment and then it will be pushed then it will post to where this will be post to a repository right and from here because this is the central place all developers follow the same process and push their code to repository right so all developers does the same thing if we have a multiple developers in a team they will do the same thing and other and uh, same in the same way other developers right who uh, who has to work on uh, you know uh, existing functionality or they need to include a new functionality they have to pull pull the latest code and they have to work on them right again do they do the changes they follow the same process and again they will push it to repository so this is the central central place or central storage where all the code resides right so similarly if we talk about docker registry so docker registry is a, a storage and a content delivery system so why i'm saying that in case of github that central location or storage was having code maybe written in any language okay but here in case of docker the central this place the central storage is having images okay so let me make it more clear so in case of docker in case of docker developer in case of docker what happened developer create a docker file docker file then build an image then this image is post post to registry right this is the registry and another user if he wants to work on this image let's say call it image as a image one if this user wants to work on this image one then this user will perform a pull operation pull operation from the registry and on top the on top of that it will get this image right considering this as a base image this user will create a docker file which will have this image as a base image right base image as we discussed in the last video right where we were using the from 
गाइज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉस्ड डॉकर इमेज वीडियो प्लीज गो टू द लिस्ट वॉस दैट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो यू कैन गेट दैट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन and you or you can go into the playlist and you can find that video video there okay so in the from tag like so for for from the image whatever we mentioned that is at a base image and based on that we apply uh, our changes maybe we need to perform some operation we need to add some uh, storage or whatever so that that uh, we create in a docker file and from there we create another image that we can name it as image 2 right this is image 2 and again this image will be pushed back to this registry this will be a push so i hope it's clear right so if we see here if we see here right so user has a docker file and using that docker file user has created a docker image and docker image is pushed to the registry in this registry anyone can access whoever has been uh, you know uh, provided the account or access they can get the get any image of this registry they can pull it and customize it and create their own custom image and then they can again push it to the registry so i think uh, looking at this you understood right registry is just a storage it's a storage and a content content delivery system nothing else if we are talking about registry then the first question might comes in your mind then which which registry what we we are using so far so by default so default registry registry right default registry docker hub okay docker hub so this is the official registry like if you are not uh, mentioning any registry details so by default your images will be pushed to this location okay so there is challenge let's say there are uh, three companies a b and c they have their own softwares their products and they want to use docker so do you think it's feasible if they push their uh, codes or images actually images not codes to the docker hub there would be a security problem right so usually it doesn't happens each company instead of doing this what company does they create their own own registry so for example a has created a registry for for their product registry a similarly b has its own registry and c has its own registry let's say ubuntu ubuntu created the image and they want this image can be used by anyone okay so that's why they pushed their image to docker hub docker hub now company a so these companies want to develop their product using ubuntu so they must have to pull this product from docker hub okay so what they do they pull it from here this is the pull they do the they do some customization and they create their custom image custom image okay they create their custom image and then they push it to their own registry let's say it's registry reg a so now here they have pushed it like saying that my or you can say like ubuntu a ubuntu a so this is how it works right those official images are being pulled from the central reg registry and then after doing the customization uh, as per the requirement they are pushed to their uh, respective registries now these registries cannot be accessed by this cannot be accessed by b and c so that's why they have their own registry this registry can be local 
local remote as well okay or you can use uh, cloud vendors as well when i say cloud vendors like uh, we have aws we have gcp so let me show you uh, uh, you know how we can create our custom uh, you know registry so let's do that fine so it's very simple if you want to create your own registry in your local system that you can do it so let's do that docker container run we are going to run this container in background so that's why i have used hyphen d i can use hyphen p for port let's say 5001 this is the localhost port and this is the port inside the container and then we need to mention the name of the registry let's say i could mention the name like my registry and then after i can do it like uh, i can mention registry this is the image name which comes which which will be pulled from the docker hub registry and we can mention like 2.7 if you know the version let's let's see the official document right show docker registry image okay so if you go here so you can see different versions it's 2.8 2.2 so it depends if you don't mention anything by default it will pull the latest one so let's let's uh, pull the latest one so i'm going here and i'm not going to mention this i can just mention latest it's downloaded and the container is running in background so if you want to see that docker container uh, docker container ls iphone a so you can see this is up and running and the name of the container is my registry so now let's do some research so as of now we have only one image here docker image now i'm going to pull ubuntu and then what i will do i will do uh, i will let's i will we will assume that we have done some changes and we will change the tag name and then after we will push it to the custom uh, to our our registry so let's do that docker so now this image is going to be pulled from docker hub okay where all images are uh, you know uploaded so you want to see the docker hub you can go here docker and you can mention like docker hub when you mention here you can go hub.dockerhub.com so if you come here and you can if you log in right you go to sign in so this is how docker hub looks like if you just click here or if you want to explore it you can see these images right if you want to look for ubuntu you can go to ubuntu and searches for ubuntu see here it is ubuntu so we are trying to pull the same image so it is being pulled from docker.io.library ubuntu right so it is being pulled from docker hub now what we are going to do just ls it so now we can see this ubuntu now what we are going to do we are going to <coughs> create a copy of this image so this is the command here localhost is the host name where registry is up and running and this is the port and now this is the uh, image name okay with which we are we are going to save this one right see so if i just hit enter and if you do the docker ls image ls so we can see this now this image is created and this its repository location is this one now what we need to do we have we have created it now we need to push it we haven't pushed it to the that location so what we do we do like this docker push and we can just mention this path we hit enter so now it is pushing this image to my local repository now docker image ls we have this let's remove uh, remove the image which one uh, ubuntu and localhost so i'm going to do docker image 
now what we can do with image we can take help of uh, this help command so now you can see right we can build history and we can do inspect and we can also remove it right remove one or more images so we want to remove it so rm and then we need to mention the image name so we can mention like ubuntu delete it and we want to remove this one as well so if we do the image ls now we have only one image this time i'm going to pull the image from my local registry let me clear it out docker image ls and i'm going to pull it from the local so we need to do docker okay so now it is being pulled from this location local host. so it confirms that a local registry is up and running in our system now if i try to run this ubuntu docker image ls okay so now what we are going to do we are going to run this so docker container run and after that we we want to execute some command when it ex, uh, when it uh, when the ubuntu started so let's say we want to print uh, um, pwd present working directory so let's see how it works so present working directory is this right if you want to i mean ubuntu is getting started and this uh, slash is coming out from that uh, ubuntu environment this container right so let me run something ls iphone l so once it's started so this is the output which is coming from that container and this is a cm this is the command that i am giving uh, it to this uh, this uh, you know statement to execute it when the container started i mean we will discuss about see so far i want to clear the idea about the terms so we are not getting into the commands and statements in detail but yes once this component part is completed we will start uh, talking about these things in detail fine so now we are able to run uh, the um, my ubuntu image from our local registry so hope it's clear and uh, this is what i was trying to cover it today in the next session we will discuss about docker client and server and why i discussed about container image and registry first because uh, after this uh, docker components we will see the docker architecture where we need all these components so that's the reason i talked about components first and then we will talk about architecture that's all about this video if you really like it please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed it please don't forget to subscribe my channel